I swore I would not keep buying, oh, I don't even buy these. I would not buy them because I find these in so many storage lockers and it's very rare. They're a good brand. All right, I'm doing another thrift haul video. I spent $99 and some change. Uh, the last one I did was fantastic. I'm doing this because I'm still kind of teaching myself the thrift store I go to. I don't have a really good signal, so a lot of this I do blind. And my other big problem is I buy either low profit items or long tail items that take a while to sell. So I'm trying to refine my craft. Um, I still mostly do um, storage lockers, which is a majority of my volume, but um, while I'm messing around, I like to still stop by the thrift store, especially when I go donate a bunch of stuff. So um, all in all, a bunch of items. I don't have the receipt on me right now, probably like 20, 15 different, um, different individual items. No mugs today, luckily. And then at the end, I'll probably wait a couple weeks till there's some sell through, see how long it takes to at least get my money back. And then hopefully um, turn that hundred dollars into 500 or so. Um, so that's, that's the goal. Um, first up is this North Face backpack, which everything fit in. So this is a backpacking backpack. So it's got the plastic framing in the back. Um, and it's pretty, pretty large. You can see there, um, $25 tag. So I got it for 20 bucks. Everything's 20% off when I go. I always use a coupon or have rewards. Tons of pockets. I checked all the zippers work. Um, we'll see how much I can get for that. Hopefully upwards of 50 to 100 and that will be a great start. Um, let's see if I can not get that out yet. Okay. Um, there's some I already know are going to be flops, so we'll see. Um, this one, I thought I'd recognize the brand. I haven't looked it up yet. S.A. I think it's fishing, um, just based on the hat and the colors. It's late in the summer. Earlier summer, this may have done well, but we'll see. It was only two fifty, so I paid about 2 bucks for it. Um, so even if it's a flop, I'll learn pretty quick. I'm usually really bad with Disney plush, so we'll see how this one does. It's made in Korea, um, which dates it a little bit, but that's still... Doesn't mean a whole lot because I don't do well with Disney Plus from Korea. Um, it's still got this Disney original tag on it, so maybe that will help it out. Um, some, of, some of those ones are just a learning lesson. Um, same here. I think I did a lot of plastic um, figures this today um, to teach myself because I don't deal with them much. Um, this is pretty modern. I think it's battery operated. I'll have to check. Um, paid four bucks for it, which probably is overkill, but hopefully it's at least 20 bucks. Um, articulate hands, and it's got nunchucks in each, probably like 10 or 12 inch toy, so a little bit on the jumbo side, so I have a little more faith in it. Um, new in box, little small Marvel action figures, same thing, um, four dollars for those two, so hopefully eight to ten bucks each, and that'll make it worth it. Um, this one I paid three dollars for. You've got. I'm assuming this is Star Wars. I got a bunch of these. This is not Darth Vader. This is probably somebody I should know. Um, this one's even taller, I think. So these are not the same. Actually, I guess he's supposed to be tall as hell. So um, another four dollars for him. This one's Vader. Another three dollars for that one. One of these had two in it. Um, this is the same guy as before, I think, and that was three dollars for him. Worst case, that's like a ten or twenty dollar flop on all of them, and I learned my lesson. Um, this one's got Black Panther; it's the same series, so I've got three of those. If I need to lot them up, I can lot them up. Um, let's see. Oh, there we go. I still can't get it out. Um, so we've got two more of the Star Wars guys. This one was seven, so paid just under six dollars for those two. That's probably a better deal. Um, I don't know the date on these, but I'll use Google Lens to check on these. So I paid just over three dollars for all these guys. Um, Patrick Ewing's in there. Um, the other guys, Chris Weber, I didn't recognize anybody else. So hopefully those have a couple years on them and they're worth a few bucks. If not, I learned. Same thing here. It's like a talking Yoda head. I'll put batteries in and find out what the heck he says. Um, pretty modern, I think. Uh, 2015, so we'll see. Um, 
actually don't know how much she charged me for this because he didn't have a sticker so um hopefully only a couple bucks usually i'm on top of that and can pay that attention i swore i would not keep buying oh i don't even buy these i would not buy them because i find these in so many storage lockers and it's very rare they're a good brand um Ravelli, the quality looked a little bit better, so I did bother um, looking this one up. I couldn't find a whole lot of info though, um, but they do make some decent price things, so I figure it's worth the shot. Um, I've had good luck with the good brands of piecing out the head and then the base separately, and that actually is way easier on shipping too, um, because then you can fit this in a tube, but when the head's attached, it usually makes it just awkward enough profile-wise. That it won't fit in a tube so um paid 15 so 12 bucks for that um this might be my biggest regret of them but hopefully not it's sad i can usually predict the regrets but i like to be proven wrong um next up sony remote i do decent with these and i'm still learning remotes but this one seemed promising i'll look it up a goal really for paying oh shoot paying just over two dollars this better be like fifteen dollars free ship or more is the goal um next up is this more it's a star wars day i guess this was the first thing i put in my basket so that must have put me subconsciously on a look for for star wars so light i figure this should be easy to ship maybe free ship um but it's still got the original packaging um so hopefully that helps the price i'm hoping um 10 or 20 bucks and i paid just about a dollar for it so hard to pass up that um and i like new attack stuff this is a kodak what do you call those like i don't know i do bad with old cameras so this is one of those i'm gonna break this if i try um slide out it's probably a lock on it i don't know i'll learn later how to do this but that whole thing articulates out um, and now I'm not going to be able to close it. So this is a Eastman, so Kodak Company made in New York. Um, number 2A folding cartridge Hawkeye model B. So only paid, let's see, before I break it. So it's about $5 for that. So cheap learning lesson if need be and just kind of a cool little piece. All right, these two I did look up but need to do more homework. These were, I didn't even look at the soles. These are in great shape. So um, these are DVS. First look on these, I paid six bucks for these, which is really good. A lot of times they overprice the shoes here. Um, I always look in my shoe size because I end up buying a bunch of shoes from them for my own use. Um, so these are DVS. I just thought that was kind of cool. They have like a, it's labeled stash pocket. Skater shoes. Um, I don't know the year on them, but um, yeah, I don't know. Looked at the model. These in this style, I couldn't find the color. Looked $50 ish. So hopefully that's true. Um, and that's an awesome score. And that might be a new thing I'm looking out for is the, the not that old, but like 10, 15 year old skater shoes. Um, these, I was a little confused on the tag, on the tongue, because I didn't recognize Reynolds, but they're actually America or America, however you say them. Um, so same thing, they're size nine, very similar, um, skate style, tons of padding, super thick tongue, um, great condition. Once I'll do a little cleaning on both soles are in great condition. Um, I had trouble finding these, but there are some America that were going for like 40 bucks. So I figured it's good. Paid $9 for those. And that is all. So I'll follow up right after this with some of the sales and what they're listed for. Um, out of $99, the goal is to hit 500 on that. Um, and my personal goal is to do that in a faster time than normal because I don't like stuff sitting around for 6 to 12 months. Because for me, that's something I shouldn't have bought to begin with. So I'll follow up in a minute.